defeat this weekend to take against Blackpool. What happened? Everything. Uh, thought our back four didn't play as a unit. I thought our midfield three didn't play as a unit and I thought our forward three didn't play as a unit and then when you merge units uh, you, you get a team and collectively you're hard to beat. I thought we just played as individuals all over the park. Uh, I thought Blackpool were terrific on the day, by far the better side. Bullied us, f physically stronger than us. They looked fitter than us and we, were, we, 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 was, uh, we totally had a, an off day. You've got four lads out at the moment due to an injury and some illness. Have you got an update on, on when they'll be back or how they're getting on? I think Nathan should be back this week. He's, he's just had a chest infection. Uh, Rob rolled his ankle in an under-23s game uh, last Tuesday. So I think, I think he's out for maybe one or two weeks. Uh, Cameron should be back this week, so th so that's good. Uh, he just pulled his pulled his hamstring uh, at Scunthorpe in the warm up with the first team. And uh, Dion, Dion, yeah, Dion's still maybe about three or four weeks away. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, he, he, even with them injuries, you know, we, we had enough. We had enough. We had enough talented players to give Blackpool a game, but for one reason or another. You know, I think I think our last game was against Tramier away. And that was over a month ago, and we, you know, we we've got to look at the preparation uh, for next year, for next Christmas, because as a as a club we decided to give them two weeks off. Now whether that was the right decision or not, it wasn't. You know, because prior to that, we beat Tramier away four one. We'd had you know a number of away games, uh, Shrewsbury two 0 Oldham three one. I think it were. And we look solid, so it was totally unexpected. And you know, you, you look at it, and the Christmas factor made a made a huge part because I spoke to the coaches after, and they were in. Yeah. So you touched on the talent then that you had. A lot, you've got a lot of under fifteens and sixteens playing up. They were in over Christmas. They were around the first. Yeah, team. they were. This must be a, a great positive for you, though. Oh, uh, oh, Gabby, absolutely. You know, I, I model. Do we want to win the league? Absolutely, of course we do. But our, our main aim is to get players in the first team. So Jacob Adorn, Callum, uh, George Miller's featured now, who's come from the academy as a Scotty Burgess. Uh, Ryan's been on the bench uh, quite a lot with the first team and trains with them on a regular basis. That that's the model, and you know, as a business arm of that is then selling players and making the club money from the investment what they put in, like any business. And that that's working. So, listen, we're we're doing amazingly well. Uh, we're a little bit short Saturday, but you know we'll we'll hopefully work hard this week. Well, we will work hard this week. I can guarantee you that, and put it right for Saturday against Port Vale. Yeah. This week, what is going into the preparation? Then what what's going to be the kind of routine to build up to Saturday's fixture? Well, watching the video, I, th I think it's important. We're going to sit down and watch the video and look where we went wrong. Uh, I know where we went wrong, you know, uh, the centre half, no one pressing the centre half so they had time on the ball and we had an eye line and we just put a ball in behind us at times, we weren't play necessarily playing through midfield and we got caught up too high up the pitch and then our recovery runs were poor. So we'll be, we'll be certainly watching the video and then Tuesday's going to be an hard session physically, uh, they're in college Wednesday, Thursday will be an hard session and then it'll be match preparation for Port Vale on Friday. So, yeah, we've got one or two lads in as well. Is it is it difficult in the fact that when you've not got the under 15s, 16s with you during the week, you can't necessarily go through your set pieces and that kind of thing? Do you think that plays an effect or...? Yeah, well, they're in on day release on a Thursday, so the plan were to to do that Thursday afternoon. So we've gone out in the morning with the, with the scholars, just doing a light session to do the main session Thursday afternoon. <laughs> They were like an hurricane outside and there was snow everywhere so so we did have to cancel it but there's still no excuses. These yeah. bo these boys, uh, the, you know, majority of them have been in our system a long time, they know how to play football and Saturday they, they looked like they didn't which was the biggest disappointment and I thought we lacked leadership. So from my point of view there's no excuses. We had we had three second years playing and, and uh, I think it was three 16s but them 16s are good enough to play at this level. Uh, so, f from my point of view, no excuses whatsoever. A freak day, 
But all in all, yeah, the scoreline was ridiculous, but we just lost three points, and I believe we're still third. Uh, Walsall got beat, so you know, if, if, if we win our game in hand, you know, we'll move closer to the top. So, you know, we don't over exact, we don't sort of over analyse or praise our lads when we win, and we will we'll certainly won't do that when we lose. So we're, we're just level headed, and you know, it's still about development, and we'll look to try and develop our our players for the games to come. Brill. Well, I wish you the best of luck for Saturday. Thank you.